There are some certain challenges that we're discussing here at this meeting. Uh, we learned about an, uh, established infections, emerging infections, re-emerging infections. The challenge is to uh, be cognizant of the fact that we have to do the, our best for many, many millions of people who are afflicted by these infections around the globe. And uh, it's easy to be taken in by the headlines. Uh, and as we heard yesterday, uh, during the Ebola outbreak, more people died of malaria in those exact same countries uh, than of Ebola. Um, so I feel that, um, that these emerging infections tell the public that uh, there are significant infectious disease uh, problems in our, in our world. We have to be cognizant of them, and we also have to be thinking about the, the diseases that have been here for centuries, if not uh, longer, that continue to afflict our populations. And uh, it's no secret that my particular field is tuberculosis, and we reach, uh, we're now the number one single uh, infectious cause of death in the globe. Uh, that's an uh, ignominious distinction. Uh, but uh, uh, in contrast to the headlines you see today with Zika or two years ago with Ebola, we rarely make headlines. And uh, I think a challenge is to keep the public focused on what's really afflicting human lives around the globe from an infectious disease point of view. There are important opportunities uh, that these emerging infections uh, uh, put on the table for us. Uh, I would like to say at the beginning, it's very important to develop better tools for these emerging infections, but that's not the reason I went into this field. The microbes know more than we do about human biology, and by understanding their mechanisms and the tricks that they have learned about human biology by being with us over the millennia of evolution, we're going to learn more about human biology than we did before. And along the way, we're going to find important tools, diagnostics, drugs, vaccines, and other interventions that will help us get on top of these infections. That change would be a faster diagnostic for tuberculosis. The change of a faster diagnostic for tuberculosis means you need to be able to diagnose the disease in 30 minutes or less uh, with an instrument that fits in a backpack and that has a battery life of at least uh, 12 to 15 hours. And with a tool like that, we could get on top of this infection in resource poor environments and then bring the, uh, the drugs that we need to give these patients that we already have uh, to bear on the same day they come to the clinic. We certainly need better drugs, we need better vaccines, but if I could just wish for one thing, it would be a very fast, simple diagnostic that you could do in a village in a resource-poor country.